our next project is replace the wind generators. Uh, they were only like 600 watt each. We never got the power we wanted out of them. So we bought two 1600 watt wind generators to replace them. But the hurricane destroyed the 600 watt ones. So we're still going to replace them. Fortunately, we have two to replace it with. But we got to do some work here. The wind generators have brakes in them to keep them from overspeeding and destroying themselves. But the winds from that hurricane at 86 miles an hour blew through the brakes and literally detonated the wind generators. And you can see this one here is blown apart. And this one here is blown apart with only one blade left and both the supporting poles broke. And some of that had something to do with the beaching. Uh, this one is broke at this coupler. So I'm trying to find someone who can weld that. I can take the pipes off, which I got to do to replace the wind generators anyway. And you can see this one here is broken at the threads. Uh, there is no pipe die on the island to rethread that. So what I'll do is take the coupler off right here from here and just have this welded. Uh, and then put them back up and rebrace them. So let me get taking this part. I'm going to bring the wind generator down first. I've got to unbolt these four bolts, but uh, I've got a seal wrap on this because I've got vibration isolators I installed to reduce the vibration in here. I'll show you them if you didn't see them in previous video. And that reduces the noise in the boat when the wind generator is spinning. Ah. And there you can see the vibration isolators, but that leaves a gap there for water to get down this pipe here. So we seal it with this rubber. So now let's get some wrenches and unbolt it. These are the power wires to the battery for the wind generator controller. And before we go up and cut the wires at the controller, we've removed the power source. We've got one of the wind generators down so you can get a better look at how the hub for the blades just detonate it and come apart. But the more serious damage, and this is not repairable either. Look at that. The guts inside of this have exploded from overspeed and the centrifugal force has allowed the windings to just explode out of this generator and now she's locked up. So glad we had two replacements on board. Much larger. These were 600 watts. The ones we got to replace them are 1600 watts. But we'll continue taking the pole down and uh, we got to do some repairs there too. here in Bimini and he's going to weld up the pipes for our wind generators so I can install the new ones. It's not perfection but it'll work and we'll be able to put our wind generators back up. The new ones! Now that the wind generator poles have been repaired, the welding there, uh, we bought some extensions and couplers to make installation a little easier instead of trying to thread these joints once we get the wind generators on. And uh, that'll be our connection to put them up and take them down for repairs and installation and maintenance. So let's get started on installing this. We've got both the bases installed for the new wind generators. Not the same size because the way the fittings are welded, but I'm making do with what I got. Now I got to feed enough cable, which I've got spare cable down below, out and feed it through the top pipe that the wind generator mounts here. So let me get that done. This is the wind generator controller. 
You can see I've put butt connectors on the wires. What that does is cover the ends so you can't short out as you're hooking up. You got to hook the power up before you hook up the wind generator. So nothing can short out because you can hook them up individually. And they're all got dielectric grease to prevent corrosion. And the cord, I've tied the three wires together because that puts the brake on that'll hold the wind generator from producing power until I'm ready to hook it up to the controller. So we got to mount our new 1600 watt wind generators to our mounts that we had for the old 600 watt. You got the vibration isolators to reduce the sound. The sound travels through solids hundreds of times faster than through air. So this isolates some of the sound. We have stuff our wires in the pole, which goes up through there to mount, and then put the blades on while it's down, because we can't reach it when it's in the air, and then seal this joint created by this gap with Gorilla Tape to keep water out. And you can see these flat washers we put in here for spacers. That's so uh, the studs don't hit the base of the wind generator and it'll turn freely when we tighten the mount down. Next step is assembling the blades on the hub. You can see this tear shaped hole here so you can't put them on backwards because you got a tear shape here and they come with a hardware and a wrench to do it so very easy. Once the blade assembly is complete it just screws onto the hub of the generator and there's a lock nut and an allen wrench that fits in the end of the shaft to tighten her down. The 1600 wind generator is assembled on the pole. We got Gordon up on the dock to help stand it up so I can bolt it up. So let's get her done. And the wind generator is up. A couple braces on it. Not going to fully adjust them because I want to put the other side up over here and then center the bimini and brace everything off. Wind turbine project is complete. Both of them are up and braced and producing electricity rated at 1600 watts each.